Welcome to the High Consulting Hot Key series. Building dynamic business models is only half of our firm's approach to helping your company operate efficiently and effectively. The other half is our educational series to help you and your colleagues become better acquainted with the most powerful tool in business, Excel. As we go through the hot key lessons, we will be building a spreadsheet to track the performance of AFC teams during the NFL season. In this lesson, we will learn how to move around Excel without using the mouse. Before we start, I would like to point out that each hotkey we discuss will be in a green box on the top of the screen. A plus sign means you press the combination of keys simultaneously, whereas a comma means you hit the keys individually in the given order. Basic movements include the following hotkeys. Most users already incorporate these hotkeys in their everyday use. The first hotkey is Enter. In Excel, we use the Enter key to move one cell down. This is a great key to use when entering a list of data. In our example, the AFC teams. Looks like I misspelled Colts. If I hold down Shift and hit the Enter key, Excel takes me one cell above. Again, to move one cell down, we hit Enter. To move one cell up, we hit Shift and Enter at the same time. We're going to rank each team based on offense, defense, and an overall score. As we enter the titles for each column, we can hit the tab key to move one cell to the right. Similar to what we saw with the enter hotkey, when we hold shift while hitting the tab key, Excel moves us in the opposite direction, or in this case, left. Two additional basic hotkeys are the page up and page down buttons. I don't recommend using these hotkeys within a spreadsheet because the number of rows up or down will depend on your zoom level. Notice on this worksheet, if I select row 6 and press page down, it will take me to row 28. Now if I go back up, zoom out, and press page down, Excel takes me to row 33. I'm not a fan of inconsistency, therefore I rarely use these buttons as such. Users commonly search for certain data points in a spreadsheet using the arrow keys. But if that data is entirely out of view, most people will track down the cell using both scroll bars. As you can see, this is not very accurate. Control movements, on the other hand, allow you to get there much quicker. Control movements occur when we hold the control key and press an arrow key. Excel will take us to the end of a section. For instance, control plus the down key takes me to the end of the team list. Excel also considers a group of blank cells to be a section. So here, Excel will take us through the blank section to the first non-blank cell. We need to see how the Chiefs ranked overall. Holding down the control button, I hit the left arrow key once. I typically hold the left control key with my left hand and keep holding it down until I've reached the section I need to be in. Now, we hit the down arrow one, two, three, four, five, six times until we reach the overall stats. I can then control right arrow to get to the final rank. Using control movements to navigate through a worksheet requires practice and more importantly a knowledge of the data layout. When we build our models we will intentionally leave blank cells between the sections to quickly hotkey through the document. Now we can see here the Chiefs are number one. Our next hotkey is going to allow us to go back to the beginning of the worksheet very quickly. We do this by holding the control key and then hitting the home key. Likewise, if you want to go to the end of a data region, hold the control button and press the end key. Excel takes you to the furthest cell you've selected during the use of your workbook. Control movements are great for navigation, but they're even better for selecting multiple cells. For example, if you want to make a copy of the week one results, Users typically move the mouse to select the upper left hand corner of the table, drag across the region, then they right click to select copy, select the new destination, and right click to select paste. Let's undo the slow way by hitting control Z. This is the hotkey for the undo action. We'll cover action hotkeys later on in the series. Starting in the same upper left hand corner, I'm going to hold down the control key and the shift key at the same time then hit the down arrow. Keeping my left hand on the control and shift key, I then hit the right arrow. Holding down shift enables Excel to highlight the region just as if you were using the mouse. Now, in real time motion, 
we hold control and shift, press down, then write, hit control C, the hotkey for copy, go to our new destination, and then control V, the hotkey for paste. At this point, we've seen the most efficient way to move on a particular worksheet. The next step is to move to multiple worksheets within the same workbook. We do this by holding the control key and pressing page down to go to the next worksheet or page up to go to the previous worksheet. Suppose we want to compare week one and week two. We select the data from week one using the combination of hotkeys, control and shift, down, right, then control C to copy, now we hit control page down to move to week 2 worksheet. Select the destination and then hit control V to paste. Remember how we just used the shift key to highlight certain data regions? Likewise we can select multiple worksheets if we combine the shift key when using the control page up and page down hotkeys. This is a highly beneficial feature if you have identical worksheets that need the same formatting change. For instance, if we select week 1 and week 2 by holding control and shift and pressing page down, we are able to change the format in cell B6 on both worksheets simultaneously. Be careful. This can be a very dangerous tool. It's easy to forget you have multiple sheets highlighted and then go forward making changes you may not want to occur on all selected sheets. Now that we have an understanding of how to move within a file, let's look at some ways that we can move between multiple files. First, we have the Control Tab hotkey. This will allow us to rotate through all open Excel workbooks. This can be extremely useful when comparing two data sets in two different files. If you need to step outside Excel into a different application, use the Alt Tab hotkey. If you hold Alt, Windows allows you to scroll between all open applications hitting the Tab key. This is a great hotkey to use when you're referencing a website. For example, I use NFL.com to update my weekly AFC rankings. Using my left hand, I can quickly brush the Alt and Tab keys and flip back and forth between NFL.com and my spreadsheet. Learning these hotkeys will take time and practice. To help you become more efficient, download one of our free tests to time yourself. When you go back to work, try and incorporate these hotkeys. And don't start using them all the first day. It's going to take time. Start with the hotkey that's most applicable to your business. Trust me, once you realize the efficiencies, you'll begin to incorporate the other hotkeys at a much faster pace. In the next lesson, we will focus on formatting hotkeys, followed by the action hotkey lesson. Please contact me if you have any questions about this lesson or are interested in an Excel training for your employees. Thank you for your time and consideration.